It is time once again for an album in review on Tim's Vinyl Confessions. This one is a newer one. It's 13 years old, but it's a relatively newer album. Released on this date in 2011. It's Night Ranger, Somewhere in California. Uh, this was the band's first album on Frontiers Records, and this album was a rebirth for the band in many ways. The lineup, of course, uh, you know, consisted of the three stalwart members, you know, Kelly Kegi, Jack Blades, Brad Gillis, but they also had Eric Levy on keyboard, still with the band, and a guy that's uh, gone on to a bunch of other things since on second guitar, Joel Hoekstra. Uh, Joel didn't last, uh, he lasted one more album with the band, but this was the first album that the band had put out in uh, three or four years since their uh, Hole in the Sun album. And that album was a decade coming uh, since the album Seven. And Hole in the Sun isn't generally thought of as a great Night Ranger album. And for whatever reason, uh, this album sounds like a reborn Night Ranger and it kicked off an incredible run of new albums that continues to this day with the most recent album, ATBPO. All of these Night Ranger albums from here on in are every bit as good, in my opinion, as the albums they did in the 80s. Um, it's a great sounding album, um, self-produced, and it's just got great song after great song after great song. Um, the opener, Growing Up in California, has a few nods to You Can Still Rock in America, but that's very much on purpose. And this is just a fun, I mean, everything that you ever liked about Night Ranger is here. It's also got one of the best power ballads, I think, of this millennium uh, with Time of Our Lives. I mean, that one would have been a hit in an earlier time. There is absolutely no question. But uh, Rock and Roll Tonight, great rock and roll song, as you may have guessed. Uh, Laid On Me, they did that one in concert a lot. No Time to Lose You is great. It's good. And uh, also, it was reissued within the last couple of years on vinyl, which is really cool because it was never on vinyl originally. And... Um, Worth picking up, you just get a better look at the artwork, and there's also a um, fairly in-depth interview with the guys about the making of this album. So, yeah, they really think a lot of this album, and and for good reason, uh, because this was a this was getting them back to that fun-loving yet hard-rocking sound that Night Ranger do pretty much better than anybody. Um, and uh, you know, these guys are still kicking it. I want to send a shout out to Josh and everybody at Fans in Motion, Night Ranger Podcast. Uh, check them out. They're posting regularly on Facebook and all of the social medias. They're also on YouTube. And if you get a chance to go see Night Ranger in concert, they still bring it. They're still rocking in America or wherever it is you happen to catch them. All right. Night Ranger, somewhere in California, today's album in review.